This is a brief training video on how I made this video, the two-sided social influencer. You'll notice there's like some animation and graphics and some zooms. Essentially, I made this using Canva, which is an online design tool. It's free. You can use their free plan and do quite a bit with it. And then I used an editing program, which I'll show you, but you can use any editing program. And then I also um, recorded the audio using an external recording device. And I have a, a lavalier mic that I connect to it. So it helps me to get clear, clean audio, but you can also just use your phone. So like download one of the apps that says like, recorder, our voice recorder, and then you just export it or email the file to yourself as like an MP3. So there's different ways to get your recording on there, but I'll just show you what I did. So let's start with Canva. We can um, stop this. Here, this is Canva. So canva.com. Um, and I created it using the presentation template. And you'll notice each one of these are just individual elements. And to find them, you just click elements. And I know I needed like a person. So, um, and now I'm with the young girls and boys. So there we go. Oh, I could have used this one too. Um, I just went through and I chose different elements. I felt like I was casting, you know, for like a movie. I said, okay, you get to be Alma the younger. Now for these ones, do you remember in the video how it looked like they were moving? This is how you do it if you want to do, be really, really simple. I put each individual icon here and then I just copied it. So I clicked copy and that means they're all of a sudden I have two. That's great. And then what I do is I select each individual icon and I move it slightly. So I say, okay, I want that one to move left, this one to move right, this one to move left and this one to move right. And then I would copy it again and move them again. Now you'll notice I have quite a few here that I moved. Now this one had like a zoom in on it. I did that in the editing program. So all of these are just static images. This is why this is a very simple way to do animation. There are a lot of tools out there you can use now, but the free versions have like a watermark on them. So this is a way you can, can create your own animation using very, very simple met methods like this. Now I just added the text here. You know, you can select text over here on the left and just click add a heading. And then it'll say, you can just type in it, new text. Now, if I want to move that text box, I have to click away from it so that it knows I'm done typing. And then I can move it around wherever I want. And you can also delete elements by, again, click away so it knows what that you're kind of clearing the slate, res resetting, and click on the element you want to delete. You can either delete it up here or just click the backspace or delete key. Now, in the animations, I use that a lot. I just did the copy and then I, I, I changed something on the next one. So notice like what's different. There's no glasses here and here there's glasses. So I have a separate image for each. And then in the editing program, let me show you what you can do. Let's first of all, download this. So once you're done, you're going to have a lot of slides because you're doing a lot of copying. See how this one has no bubbles at the top and this one has the speech bubbles. On the video, it's going to look animated. I mean, this is this is the basics of animation. This is how they used to do animation, right? They would actually hand draw each page and then they would change one thing slightly, like where's the arm? And then they would hand draw that. So you can do the exact same thing. I mean, this is just the principle of animation. Just build it in Canva. So here, this is the entire thing. I'll just keep scrolling down. Let me show you how many slides it took. It took me 60 slides to make that video. But just remember, it was pretty simple because I was just like copying and changing and adding a few things. What took the longest was finding the elements. Now, if you have the free plan, you won't be able to access all of their elements. I mean, they have to make money somehow, right? So this is one way they make money. But if you're searching, so I have the, I have the upgraded plan, so I can use any element that they have. 
But if you don't want to pay for that, it's a monthly, monthly um, subscription. What you can do is just click on this filter and then click free. Now it will um, apply filters. Now it will only show you the icons or the graphics that you can use for free. Now, if you hover over each icon, it'll say free. See right here on the right. Um, and so that helps. And yeah, there may be plenty of free ones, so you may not need to upgrade. There may be enough for what you're doing. You can also import import images or icons. And the way you do that is over here on the left of under uploads. So you click on uploads and then just upload an image or video. And then at that point, you could, if you found like an icon or an image somewhere else, you could upload it and use it. So that's, that's another way to get around having to pay. Now you can download for free. So we're going to download it. So click the drop down arrow and then download. Oh, that is already down. Okay. Now we need to select PNG or JPEG. Both of those are going to export it just as individual pictures that we can import into our editing program. So let's just do a JPEG and download. Now you'll see this. Um, they always have good quotes here. I love it as they're working on your download. And then when it's all downloaded, well, of course, okay, you know how to do this. You can save it somewhere on your computer that you can find it. Then go to your editing program. Now I use Adobe Premiere, but you could do this with any editing program, even the free versions of editing programs, because they all allow you to import pictures and videos and audio. Those are the elements of editing. And so just choose any program that you want to use. Then you import all those pictures, all those JPEGs that we just exported from Canva. You're now going to import into your editing software. Now, what you do, I don't need to show you exactly how, how it is, how to use Adobe Premiere. There's lots of videos about that um, on YouTube from other people, but I can at least show you the elements this is the same across all editing programs. You have a video track and those are on top. And sometimes you'll have more than one video track, but for the purposes of this, you really should only need one. Then you have audio tracks. For this video, I used two audio tracks. The first one was my voiceover. And then the second one was the music. So, for the music, I, I downloaded that from a music, um, I'll just show you. It's called Invado, what I use. This is a paid program, but I just typed in like um, adventure and then music. So any music on here that has to do with adventure. And then from here, you can listen to them and you can download the song that you want. But if you don't want to pay for a, a program that, um, a, a tool, I guess it's like, it's a stock video, stock footage, um, and stock music. Um, and what that means is it's copyright free. So if you purchase it from them, or if you put your purchase a subscription, they will just let you download all of these different elements for, uh, with, without copyright infringements. Um, and you don't have to pay royalties to anyone. So, uh, because normally the photographer who took the picture or the designer who animated it or the musician who wrote that song and recorded it, they should get credit and they should get money if you use those elements. But if you purchase a subscription to a, a, a plan like this, a platform, then you can download everything without giving credit and without paying royalties. This one is free. So I would recommend you save that filmmusic.io. So, okay, back to our editing. What you do is you import the pictures and then you drop them in your timeline right here. See, these are individual elements. That's a picture in the order that you want. And then you narrate it. So, so you use your external recording device to narrate your script. 
And then you import that in here and you drop it in your timeline. Then you go choose music from one of those stock libraries. You drop it in your timeline. Let me just show you how you do the animation part of this. It all has to do with the length of your video clip or actually the JPEG. So when you're editing video on your um, video timeline, so we're looking at this one, the first one in pink, uh, the, the video track, I should say, then let me zoom in. You're introducing um, duration, so an amount of time. So like a picture is just a picture, right? But when you import it into an editing program, you can, you can tell it how long you want to show that picture. And so that's the duration. And so you'll notice this first clip of the intro slide, that, that's pretty long compared to these next ones. And this is how they move. So let me slide over here. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit more. So you'll notice these are really fast because this is one picture. Now we're going to the next picture. Here, maybe if I go like this, you can see when they change. If they're on different tracks, it doesn't matter as long as it, what matters is the, the sequence. So one right after the other, right? So this, this one's going to play after that one. Um, and so that's why it's called the timeline. So I just made these short and I made them all about the same length. So as I'm talking down here on my audio track, then it looks like they're animated. And this is a very slow animation. I mean, the professional animations, they have, it, it's basically the same idea, but they have like millions of the different frames, right? So, but you can do very simple animations. And actually this is kind of trending right now um, is, is like an audio with a simple narration with very simple movements because it's, it's entertaining and it can be educational and it helps capture attention. It's sometimes more interesting than just watching someone talk about all of these things. So it has a lot of advantages. So let me just go through my timeline so you can basically see how, how those move. Now, this is the zoom. So in your editing program, you will have options um, to do what's called video effects. And so what you do is you click on the picture that you want to edit, and then you find the video effects option in your program, and you just choose one. You can do like a zoom in or a zoom out. Um, you can change like the color of it, the brightness, the contrast, um, and you can actually even do cool transitions between clips. But really you can do it all just as JPEGs and have one video track. Um, and then your audio track and then your background music and the editing program should allow you to like bring the levels down of your background music so that you can hear your audio. So they shouldn't be the same level. They, one should be quieter, right? So your music is quieter. It's usually about like half of what your, the, the volume and the level is of your audio. So then I went ahead and exported um, this video. And then once I exported it just as an, M as an MP4, then I went to YouTube and I clicked, um, upload. And then I just found the file on my computer and I uploaded it here. That's how I made this video. I hope that's helpful.